Well, good day to you, people of the interwebs. I figured, since it's not a Transformer of the Week day, we'd actually look at some different action figures. So I've received these. Um, Funko have made a set of action figures for the latest movie, Ready Player One. It's a movie I quite enjoyed myself, being a nerd and, and lover of like quite a few different nerd culture type stuff. It's nice to have a, a film that kind of embraces that. It is kind of very much this laboured nostalgia porn in a way. But I'm okay with that. Because the things I've seen in that movie are things I never thought I'd ever see. And I get to see them in a film. And it was absolutely fantastic. So yeah. Um, Funko made some figures of the main characters. Um, it's a nice display friendly box with a big window so you can have all figure, four figures on display. You may notice that the artwork has uh, five characters on the artwork. The High Five as they're called. And two of them aren't included in this. So what we get is we get Parzival, of course, um, Artemis, H, and I Rock. So the, the, the you know there's there's three of them are in here, but one of them is not. Uh, yeah, it's Funko action figures. Let's see what they're like. So first up, we'll go with um, Parzival. He's the leader of the group and the main character in the book and the television movie <laughs> the film in the film uh so if we look at like a gi joe style figure you can see what kind of size he is so he does fit in that kind of styles range so yeah the first impression is really it's the face that throws me off a bit it's a bit of a dull surprise face though hello um i mean if we look the character art He's a lot paler there. There's a lot more blues in there. And this just looks like a kind of dude, really. Slightly tan dude. When really there should be a bit more grey and a bit more blue and make him look more like a, an avatar, like a digital person than this. It just looks like a person. Other than that, I mean, look at this denim jacket. You know, the belts really shine. It's got a nice tampograph for the, uh, the sword on the back. The tattoos have come out really well tampographed on it's got a good sculpt and paint for the um, hand solo style gun belt that he wears and sculpt of the wings and the trainers it's come out really sharp as well so yeah he's got some really sharp details it's just that kind of that face just kind of doesn't do him any favors doesn't do him any favors though so in terms of articulation uh, I thought when I, when I purchased these, they'd just have like the five, but there's actually like nine points of articulation. So it's got a ball joint your head. There's some disc swivels here at the arms. The elbows bend like so. You can do kick forward, a bit back on the legs. And he does have bends at the knees and that's kind of your lot it's very retro kind of i don't know if that's on purpose to fit you know the style of the uh, movie but i know that funko do do aside from the pops do do some quite you know retro style action figures rather than going full on modern but you know the sculpt work and the paint has come out particularly well and just a little bit effy with a with, with a face you just come with this pea shooter I'm not sure what kind of gun that's supposed to be. I don't know if it is a little bit like a tiny Desert Eagle-ish. Or first of all, it could be like a Nintendo gun or something like that. But it does look like it's an actual proper gun. I think if Goldeneye was one of... Um, what do you call him? Anorak? Um, Halliday's favourite games maybe is a, a gun from... Uh, golden eye right so that's possible 
Next up, the other lead of the film is Artemis. And here she is. Again, the first thing that strikes you is that face sculpt. And she looks a bit sulky. She looks like she's having a sulk, which is a shame. I would have preferred a more feisty um, face sculpt to go with the very kind of fiery personality that she has in the film. And indeed, her colour is the colour of fire. She's got this red, pinks, lobsterish. So that's her. We've got some nice sculpt work on the her going on. A, um, like again, nice tempo for the t-shirt and the tattoos within this kind of almost white to a pinky red. Kind of like that's a good blend work there. Um, it's got some nice chains there, and some you know cuts in the jeans and shinier boots. So articulation is the same. I think her arms can go a little bit higher up. Um, you know, it's a very slender figure. like so and the weapon she comes with is with this that is very reminiscent of the pulse rifle from aliens so we can live with that and she can kind of hold it like so but yeah that one looks so much better if she had a different facial expression I think it would look really really cool if she's more Arr! I'm gonna Blast some noobs or whatever they say, you know. I can speak, you know, youth talk, sick burn, man. Yeah, dank, all that. Yeah. Next up, we have H, who is clearly in competition here to stealing the show in this box of figures. And just like H stole the show, I think, in the movie. So we have this big. Powerful frame, part organic, part robotic. Looks very much like, you know, some of these grim sci-fi shooters that you get nowadays. Uh, again, it's just really love. All the paints come out with the yellows and the greens and the tans and the greys. And that H, they're emblazed and tampographed on. Like all the sculpt work on the spine and everything. And you have that midriff. It's completely see-through that's just held together with pistons. We've got this rubber belt here with pouches and pouches and things and different bits of stuff. Maybe a spray can on there. Yeah, that's that. And we've got, again, similar articulation. Head on a ball joint. I love how the robot eyes come out. That's really cool. This hinges, swivels there, and kick up to the, actually has more of a back swing there, and a bend at the knees. Yeah, so we <laughs> can just frolic around. Oh! If you see the movie, you know what H is running away from. Yeah, accessory wise, H comes with this kind of futuristic drum fed double barrel shotgun affair thing H can't really hold it that well it's kind of got two fingers there and a thumb you kind of just have to jam it in like so so it doesn't really look like it's holding it properly but yeah H everybody Probably the funnest character in the film. Or could it possibly be Irock? Irock is the one bad guy in this package. A bad guy, mercenary, um, agent of fortune, as he were. He's got this very goth <laughs> gamer look with the, the trench coat and the skull that you can... You can see all the way through the body with um, the hood 
and just the the goffiness. Head sculpt's good, but I think I'm not sure how the eyes are painted. It almost looks like uh, Irox's eyes are closed here, like he's having a bit of a kip. I don't know. Um, again, with the articulation, I think Irox can get his arms further up than everyone else. But again, it's disc here, but the swivels. Some of the joints are a bit stiff. Elbow bends, get legs up and past. This is a really nice soft rubber on the uh, trench coat type details. So get Irox to get a bit more range of movement there. But yeah. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't come with uh, any weapons. He does have these big mitts, which are probably quite good. For a uh, ha 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 casting spells with, yeah, the ball joint, you know, the hood is attached to the head and not the the body, so it does afford that you know ball joint can move around a bit. So yeah, do that. All in all, it's a, I think it's a good range of figure. I mean, just look, oh, it's just the paint and the stuff for for what it costs. It costs me um, roundabout. 20 English pounds so that works out at around five pound a figure and I think that's well worth it they probably go for a lot more from that um, individually you might get a bit more accessories or something like that but I think in the, you know in an individual shop buying figures like this for about five or a figure you probably wouldn't get as much, you know, paint applications and stuff like that. So it's a nice box set, I think, and a nice uh, little representations of the films. These two, one, I think, through having that Hencher character design, they've got a lot more to play with at this scale. So they, they both, you know, come out a lot better and the two lead characters, which is a shame, because, you know, she's a really good character in the film. <laughs> he is a bit boring. But, you know, I would have liked her to be a bit more feisty looking. Other than that, yeah, really good. Really good value for money, and a nice representation of those figures from the film. So that, that's been me. These have been... Ready Player One, Funko figures, action figures, collectibles. The collectible action figures. Thanks for watching. Uh, join me again next time. There'll be another video, more action figures and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Until then, remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of funky stuff. Funko stuff. But until then, be excellent to each other. Party on dudes. Let's fist bump, shall we? For the Oasis! Fisto! Fisto!